Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the microchips, the microchips that are now in the Louis Vuitton bags and items. You know, this has been a really hot topic and something that a lot of people are asking about. So I thought I would do a video and just really just show you how to find some of these microchips if you do have any items that you purchase after March of 2021. So that's really when Louis Vuitton started putting the microchips in their, in their, in their items. It started in March of 2021. So a lot of people are asking why did they start doing that? I think it's pretty obvious why they started doing that. They really wanted to start fighting against the counterfeiters and all the people that are doing the replicas. And I'm sure a lot of us are hearing about replica bags and replica items. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people that will purchase an item and then return it to the Louis Vuitton store and then they're not, they're replicas. So one easy way is that they can now scan these bags and they can find out all the information. So if I buy a bag from a store in Chicago and I try to return it at a store in New York, they'll know that I initially purchased that item from the store in Chicago and vice versa. And nowadays, I mean, we all have our Louis Vuitton account so they can track your returns that way. But unfortunately, there have been people who are uh, returning uh, items that are replicas or counterfeits. So that's just one extra layer of protection for Louis Vuitton. And you know what, there are other companies that are already doing it, designer companies, so this is nothing new. There's a, like like Ferragamo, that's a, a really big designer brand. They've been doing it for years and they've been very successful. So I do think it's a positive thing, although there could be some cons to it too as well, because right now, if you're like me, I do like to purchase items on resale and Currently, you can walk into a, a certain store that's selling resale bags, or if you're like me, I do get on certain Facebook uh, uh, groups that are reputable and they are selling their items, and it is nice to see the date code and that kind of information, and now you won't be able to see that. So, you know, that's one thing that you have to think about. Um, if you do have a good relationship with an SA at a Louis Vuitton store, they could scan the bag for you if you do buy something that's resale, but again, uh, Louis Vuitton is currently not in the business of having just random people walk into the store and asking and having them scan items for you. I don't even believe they will do that. I haven't tried to do it yet, but I'm not sure they would even do that. But, you know, one of the things that I've heard, if you have a really good, uh, an essay, someone that you trust and someone who has a good relationship with you, you may be able to walk into a store and they can scan it for you, which is really nice. But there is an app that I want, I am going to be showing you in a few minutes that can scan some of these items and you know show you at least give you some reassurance that there is a chip in there but again with counterfeiters they're finding creative ways to even even with the date codes if apparently that's something that they were replicating while well, again i did read some articles on the microchips they are doing that as well the scammers are also now starting to put the the uh chips in these bags so when you try to scan them at home they do show up with a code so again there's going to be really no way unless you're someone who's an expert in knowing what items are authentic or if you could take it somewhere who can authenticate it for you it may be a little challenging um I'm trying to think of what else i can i can mention to you that might be helpful but who knows why uh, Louis Vuitton started doing the microchips, but I'm sure it has a lot to do with the counterfeiters. And also the really cool thing just to add is, you know, there are some really good pros to having these chips in the bags. Um, one of the things that I learned that I thought was really neat is when you do have these chips in the bags, when they scan it, the cool thing about it is that you can get all the information about the bag from the style, when it was made, where it was made, who the seller, original seller was, or buyer, I should say. And, you know, everything from when, where it came from, if did you, was it an online store purchase or was it a boutique purchase? I mean, there's a lot of information on these chips, so it's pretty neat. My hope is that Louis Vuitton will uh, maybe offer an app in the future that you can use the app, and it's a specific Louis Vuitton app that you'll be able to scan from home and you'll be able to see all the information of your bag, which I think would make life really easy for all of us, especially if you're buying resale items. You definitely wanna make sure that what you're buying is legit and it is authentic if you're spending a lot of money on it. So I thought I would share some of that information. I think that's really the main stuff. What I wanna do next is just show you how to scan some of these items and where you can find the app. So I have an Apple phone and the app is, I'll show you here at the camera, the app is called NFC Tools. I'll put it up on the screen as well for you. It's NFC Tools, and I'm gonna to try to show you, 
see if you can see it. This is what the app looks like when you open it. So it's pretty neat. It's just an app and you know, a lot of uh, the information that you can read is it pretty interesting. So I'm going to show you just by scanning. There is, as you can see, that first tab says read. I'm going to be pressing read. And then I'm going to show you, this is the rectal verso. So I'm going to show you how I can scan this. Okay. So as you can see, I'm scanning on the outside, on the back, on the bottom, and it's not picking up anything. See, it's still trying to scan, but when I stick my phone inside, it picked it up right away. And now I'll try to show you, but it gives you some information and the information that it will give you, it, it says tag type and it gives you some code technologies available, what type of technology. And then it does give you a serial number, which I think is pretty neat, but you can see that's the information that I actually was able to retrieve just from scanning, scanning the rectal verso. The, it, the thing about the scanning is that you do have to try it a little bit because it doesn't always pick up. So that's only the only con I would say with trying to figure it out at home. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I'm going to press, uh, uh, I selected the read, but here I'll show you this one. This is a really good, um, good, uh, just demonstration, but see here I'm, I'm scanning, I'm scanning and it's still trying to read. It's not picking up anything. But see, as soon as I got to this area, it picked up the information. And again, there's some information there for you. And it gives you the same information, the tag type technologies available and a serial number. But again, you have to play around with it. The first time I tried to scan this Odeon MM, I was scanning it inside. I went through the pocket inside this little pocket area here. I couldn't find it. And finally it picked up on the back of the bag towards the corner. And I'm not sure if every bag has the microchip at the same spot. My guess is probably not that. You're, they're probably just really unique and they just put them in random spots. But I don't know that information, so don't quote me on it. So I'll go ahead and do the Neo Noe as well, just to show you. Again, I'm going to select the read. Still trying to pick up, it's scanning. Now it picked up. So this one actually had the chip towards the back of the bag inside. And again, it did give me some information there. And again, the same information, the tag type, the technologies available and the serial number. So it is nice. It gives me a little reassurance that there is some chip in there, uh, whether it's a uh, counterfeit chip, you know, but you know, I did actually get these bags from the boutique. So I do know that they are authentic, but again, you should do your homework. But my hope is in the future, we will have the ability to have our own app with Louis Vuitton, which I think would be really neat. And that way, if you do buy an item, you can definitely at least scan it at home and have that reassurance. Or the other option is, you know, if they allow us to walk into a store and maybe there's a scanning booth or something where we can scan our own items. But some people are saying that, you know, one of the reasons that Louis Vuitton did this was so that they could also fight against, just to stop the resellers which is kind of a bummer because I think a lot of us do buy things resale or we have a bag for a while or an item and we want to resell it. We want to sell it and, and maybe, you know, upgrade or purchase another item and kind of grow our merchandise. That supposedly is something that Louis Vuitton is cracking down on as well. They don't want people doing that. How true that is, I don't know. I mean, I've actually been reading a lot of blogs and just reading a lot of information about the microchips and that's just one of the things that I read. So don't quote me on that. It's just information that I thought I'd pass on to you because I found that information, but you know what? That's really all I have on the microchips, but thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope you'll subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet and I'll see you next time.